Hello everyone, welcome back to Acedo's Kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. I would like to thank all my returning viewers and subscribers for the support. Today's recipe is a subscriber request. I am preparing Sudanese style fried chicken. This is prepared in different ways, so I am showing you how I make mine. In a large pot, I have a whole chicken which I have already cut, trimmed excess fat and washed. I add coriander powder, vegetable stock powder, black pepper, ginger and garlic paste, dill, smoked paprika and cumin powder. Then I add water on the same level as the chicken and add half an onion. The onion is optional but I like to add it for extra flavor. Please find a detailed list of ingredients and measurements used in the description box. I have shown you the spices I have used just as a guide but you can adjust this to your liking using your preferred spice combination. I cook this covered for 15 minutes on low heat to allow the chicken to absorb all the spices and flavors. This is my preferred method because you cannot go wrong with flavoring the chicken. However, boiling the chicken is not necessary because the chicken does not take too long to cook like the one that we used back home. Once this is done, remove the chicken pieces from the broth and set them aside for frying. The chicken broth is nice, thick and full of flavors. I will make good use of it, so I will keep it for another recipe. I heat some oil in a pan and once hot enough, I start frying the chicken pieces. Fry them well on one side, then turn and allow the other side to fry until it is golden brown. Once these are well fried, remove them and place them on a paper towel to drain any excess oil. Allow the chicken to cool and serve. You can have this as a side dish or make it a main meal by adding chips, wedges, or salad to the side. If you have a different method of frying chicken, please share your method in the comment section below. If you like this recipe, kindly give this video a thumbs up and share it. And if you try this recipe, please share your thoughts in the comment section. If you're interested in my recipes, remember to subscribe and hit your notification bell to ensure that you're notified every time I post a new recipe. This is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next week.